Hello, welcome to Miss Talking University Radio Plays Cyclopean Foundations. I'm Ben. I'm Dan. And today we're playing the third scenario of the Beards campaign, uh, Private Lives. This art features a man uh, looking at some books on the ground. Well, this art, this art is actually cropped. There's definitely like a dead, uh, spookily mutilated body, like just off of off screen in this art. <laughs> I think Ooh. so, uh, because the beard sent me the full art. Uh, but yeah, uh, spooky. So uh, yeah, last time we went to an auction. Uh, we bought everything at the auction, and. Uh, what was the? I, I can't remember what information we actually found out. We, we uh, later <laughs> realized we later realized that we did not have to try to buy everything at the auction. Well, <laughs> right, like, yeah, that there were there was like two difficulties. Uh, like you could have tried to buy none of the stuff on the auction and get some extra experience, or buying some of the, all the stuff in the auction got you a little bit of experience. If you bought like some of the stuff but not all of it, then you would have gotten like no, nothing extra. So that that was like worst case scenario there, but. Uh, yeah, like, I, I think we, we, we interpreted it without really thinking enough about it. We just kind of thought it was sort of like a push your luck sort of thing, like the net masks, where obviously you want to try to buy all the items if you can. And it turns out, actually, the really cool way to do it would have been to buy nothing. Yeah. Or, uh, maybe next time. Yeah. Uh, still neat. Uh, we got seven experience. Um, and also, we got this warped idol story asset, which I put in my deck uh, after discussing with Dan. Uh, which probably just will get committed for stuff, maybe occasionally played. But uh, yeah, so I let's look at my changes in my deck real quick. Um, what did I change in my deck? It looks like I got a Pathfinder, I got a Relic Hunter in preparation for getting the uh, the Seeker Grizzly Totem, but it'll help right now because I now have extra. <laughs> I have the story asset of my deck too if I want to play it, I guess. And is, I got is the is the tooth still doing a lot of work for you? Like in the first scenario, I feel like you got a few cards off of it. Um, the, I don't I don't remember how it worked in the second one. The second scenario, I think I only got like two or three draws off of it because there wasn't that many force tests. There was a couple optional ones, but there weren't very many. But yeah, I mean, I eventually eventually I expect. Uh, to get like double grizzly totems situation so yeah that makes sense i mean the tooth is still it, it still seems pretty solid especially because um oh yeah, i guess it's only i guess it's only treacheries but like sometimes there's treacheries that like come into play and sit on a location and you have to get rid of them or something mm -hmm. you know like there's there's a lot of ways to trigger it yeah uh yeah i also got pathfinder i went down to just one copy of the upgraded dream diary because my i draw through my deck so fast that I'm not too worried about finding it in a in a timely yeah, fashion. That, so that seems pretty fine. And I don't I don't I'm not worried about getting two of them out to have like uh six symbols or whatever. I don't I don't think uh, I don't think we need it for our standard. That's, that's not really worth it. Plus I see you picked up another hand asset. Uh yes, magnifying glass, which um I don't know if you've ever actually used that card, but I think I'm not, it might, I'm not it familiar might, with it, but it looks it might, uh, it looks promising. Let me, let me know how it, how it is. Yeah, I think like it. I think it might be good. So, uh, yeah. what did you uh, what did you do with your deck? Did you actually spend experience this time? I did. So I had uh, I had fourteen because I had banked seven from the first scenario. So I had enough to get a charisma and two agency backups. But uh, I thought about it really hard and I said I really don't want to pay ten XP for two copies of agency backup, knowing that I'm never going to play both of them, right? Um, and that I already kind of have enough stuff that I'm. I don't even necessarily need to find it right away because I might not have money to play it right away unless I get a motivational speech or something out. So I decided to get one copy of Agency Backup and I might get another one later. And I got a Charisma. And then with my remaining XP, I upgraded two Stand Togethers because we've been sticking together pretty closely. We can both use money. We can both use cards. Um, and just all around very solid card. And... Uh, I don't know. You know, you really hope that like, because I do have, I have a couple of expensive allies and I have some other assets, but I've got like one ever vigilant, one motivational speech, two stand togethers. Odds are pretty good that if I mulligan aggressively, I should get like one to two cards from among those in my opening hand, hopefully. So that that should be enough to get us a slightly faster start. Yeah, sound definitely sounds promising. You know, I'm not gonna turn down stand togethers that are upgraded. So, <laughs> uh, all right. Let's uh, look at the story text for the scenario. 
All right, scenario three, private lives. Though the rain subsided while you were at the auction, the late night air is still damp and frigid. Your mind dwells on the many possible confrontations with uh, Weecliffe as you march briskly towards his estate in French Hill. It's difficult to predict conversations with a man you know little about. James Weecliffe is, isn't even a native of Markham, having moved here from out of state several years ago. You believe him to be a retired architect from Pennsylvania, from what the articles about his early expeditions stated. But it's clear that he uh, he's something more than that. One thing is certain is that he knows the truth about these strange events tonight. Weecliffe's manor slowly comes into view as you round the corner to his street. Its design straddles the line between compliance with the French Hill aesthetic and the flair of modern art deco, deco architecture designed by Weecliffe himself. Your appreciation is understandably minimal as you tread the garden path up to the front door. You seize the brass knocker, intending to wake the whole house to it if need be, but the door swings open limply at first touch. The questions that have been... Oh, God. Percolating. Got it. You've been percolating in your mind all night, evaporated in a flash. They're just there, just beyond the mantle in the dim light of the street lamp behind you, lies the body of James Weecliffe. His face is frozen in a mask of terror, and it is clear from the bloodied holes in his evening jacket that his death was anything but natural. You stand in stunned silence until a creak from the upper floor echoes down at you. Whoever mur murdered Weecliffe is still here. But why? Your mind races through the facts until you arrive at a single new objective. Weecliffe may be dead, but the answers to your questions must still be somewhere within his mansion, whether the murderers want to learn the truth for themselves or simply destroy it. You would certainly better find it before they do. The murderers seem to know plenty about Weecliffe, but you still need to make up lost ground. You begin at once with the corpse. At first, the body seems bare of anything but clothes, but until a glint from the street lamp reflects off of Weecliffe's fingers. A silver ring etched with strange symbols shines up at you. Anything unusual could be instrumental in unraveling this mystery. So you pocket the ring before beginning your search of the manor in full. All right. So I've done all the setup. Uh, we have like six notice. So I have all what, have, what all these things that are based on having four more notice. We uh, have those happening. So we have the uh, countermeasures and we have a different uh, act agenda one. Uh, and uh, then the countermeasures, the countermeasures have not seemed super punishing so far. Like they're kind of fun and they are, they're kind of just like extra penalty cards because they surge. So it is like just pure, they don't like replace existing encounter cards, but you know, they're not like a disaster. You can play around them. Yeah. Uh, they, they kind of slow down a little bit. I think there's other cards that interact with them, which I don't think we saw, uh, those trigger as much, uh, last scenario, but I think they, they make other cards more difficult when like your stuff is out and we might see more of their interactions in the future. Also, I guess I didn't check. No, it's the same countermeasures deck. I didn't know if there, maybe there was different ones in each scenario, but. Uh, all right, so uh, I we talked about this before we started. I'm taking Weecliffe's Ring. Uh, I think it's just in my deck, and it starts in my opening hand uh, in this scenario. Uh, all right, why don't we do our opening hands? And... Um, I don't need two Jessicas. I feel like... Just one Jessica is pretty great. Though. Yeah, I, f I feel like I'm looking at everything except the Jessica, right? So yeah, I think so. Pretty, pretty straightforward there. Uh, all right, that's okay. Sandy, oh no, I, okay, Solomon Val is great. Uh, yeah, I almost, uh, I almost thought for a sec you should keep the bizarre diagnosis because, like, uh, if I use Sophie once, then I have enough to heal off of it. But like, bandages the Solomon Val, or at least it's good. So it seems good. Yeah, I, I, yeah. The bizarre diagnosis, I didn't think is a high priority. So. Yeah, you also don't have you also don't have clues yet. So yeah. Um, okay, well, this is sort of fun. So I definitely think I, I definitely mull that. I definitely but, uh, yeah, I think I'm all that. Um, so it's like, do I even keep the agency backup? Because the thing is, if I don't get a motivational speech or a stand together, even with even with those, it'd be tough to play at the first turn because I really need to get a weapon down. Yeah, I mean, do you, do you want it out first turn, or are you fine with getting it mid game? I would, if I knew I was going to mull into a motivational speech or even like a stand together, I would keep it. But I mean, without without yeah. knowing that, yeah, I, I think I mull it. Um, I you know finding Her Greg early is fine too. So Harrison votes um, to keep it, but you know, you know, yeah, you Harrison's, know. Harrison's worried that like the FBI agents will be sad if I mull in them or something. But <laughs> I have I have no I have no sympathy for the FBI. Um, do I keep the practice makes perfect? Like obviously you want to get your practice things. He is he is right that I only have one copy, but I'm Mark. I'm gonna draw my whole deck really fast. So um 
it is obviously it's good to just have to kind of get some stuff going but i think i mull it because i really want to find like ever vigilant stand together that kind of thing so yeah let's mull those and uh see what we get eh. probably yeah. probably would have preferred to have keep kept most of those cards but whatever yeah that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. <clears throat> you don't have upgraded every original right? It's just level one, so you can use on me. That's all right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's look at the agenda and the act and get started. Active crime scene. The assassins are still somewhere in the manor, but just who are they? They seem to be the same group that robbed the Obanians, but if they're not working for Wheatcliff, then for whom? Whatever secrets Wheatcliff knew, they clearly don't want to be discovered by others, which makes your mission that much more important now. Uh, six Doom, nothing else going on there. Uh, obituary in progress. Somewhere in Wheatcliff's manor lies the secrets to the Mycenaean exp expedition and your own employment to finding the mission. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. And your own employment to finding the mission missing shipment. Uh, objective, if at least five of the following are true, we may advance. Uh, so there's uh, basically seven different things. Although one of these things we've already done. The, we've missing already, shipment. Missing the shipment. Missing shipment. It's kind of hard to say. <clears throat> yeah, well. <laughs> where, do um, we, where do we start? The uh, entry hall? We are starting in, yeah, the entry hall, I believe. So I guess we've already completed objective because we did it last scenario. <laughs> uh, really yeah. Yeah, entry hall. Oh, yeah, that's why I put this here to remind me. Okay, and I'm lead investigator. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the entry hall. Design here. If there's no clues at the entry hall, you can read evidence one. So I assume that'll help us somehow. Um, yeah. So I guess I guess I'm just gonna do some setup this turn. I don't get everything set up. Do I, do I care about playing Weecliff's Ring or the Warped Idol? Like those are like if I have nothing better to do, play those. Um, because I think Jessica and Bandages are better to play up up front. So, uh, give you a Psalm Vow. I'll play Jessica. Right. She gets two damage on her. And... I can I can do that like beginning of enemy phase. I can toss you a damage probably. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. And uh, do I investigate once? With, with, I have a deduction. Um, only at a it only put me at a five versus a three though, which isn't isn't great. Um, oh, yeah. I, could, I could commit the like commit the ring immediately. Um, yeah, or I can wait till next turn and uh, I'll have uh, my Healy King. Oh, uh, yeah, oh don't forget to just... don't forget to pull those out again. Yeah, I I would love. I kind of want to investigate. Um just to use Sophie. I wonder if it's worth on my turn, like, I could investigate, uh, but you can't commit both the ring and deduction to me. Yeah, that's probably, that's fine. No, I can only commit one thing. I could commit the Ever Vigilant instead of playing it, but what my, I think my plan is probably to, like, draw two cards, hope to find assets or something, and then uh, Ever Vigilant. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna draw a card. Um, okay, well. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll heal him eventually somehow, probably. I guess right. you can't use bandages on that because it comes in with three. Yeah, but I could use bandages to like prevent him from taking damage or something. All right. Uh, I'm all done. All right. So yeah, I'm just gonna draw. Probably draw again, and then uh, see what I get. Oof. Um. I wonder if I, I, if I knew I could find a perception with a practice makes perfect, I would investigate here, but I probably can't, so I think I will draw again. And I feel like, I feel like I've had three scenarios, three terrible mulligans this whole campaign. I can't really complain uh -huh. about it too much, but I feel like first um, first scenario you had ever vigilant and like a couple things to play. I don't uh, maybe. Oh. I don't even I don't even think so. I think I committed it or something. Um, I think. Like, do I play the sword? Because it's not worth playing the Ever Vigilant just to play the sword. Do I play the sword without it, probably, and then just save it for later? I think that's probably what I do. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Worst case scenario, you can play Ever Vigilant later to save one asset, you know. Or, or commit it, which is, I think, what I did. Uh, yeah. One of, one of the two scenarios, I just committed it, so. Uh, did you want to give Jessica damage? Yes, I would. All right. Uh, all right, so that's both our turns. So upkeep... 
Oh, there's a Pathfinder. Oof. Oof. Uh, I'll get that out eventually. Oh, it sucks. Uh, Alright, and Doom happens, and I get an encounter card. Come on, enemies. Oh, see, mystery, mystery card. What will it be? Let's show the viewers. Ah, very interesting. Okay. Encounter card for Dan. There's an enemy. Hey, 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 love Location it. with the most clues without another spook. That would be right here, but it is aloof. It's annoying. It's annoying that it's aloof, but it is a good way to get rid of reckless and draw some cards. Yeah, my so my Vincent brain from the last two scenarios was like, oh man, that's a great thing. I could take a picture of it. Aloof enemy could easily get the clue, but uh, you know, my Daryl, my Daryl brain. Uh, but yeah. um, another another a powerful survivor, right? So um, so should I go first so that I can get rid of this guy in case you want to get clues here? Yeah, that seems uh, yeah. seems good. So I'm going to attempt to stab him with my magical sword, um, and I'm going to use practice makes perfect. Oh, did I did I not give you a searchy thing? Uh, I think you did, and I think I forgot about it, um, which is my bad. So I'm going to take an overpower, and I'm also going. Oh, but actually, no, because I want to get rid of the Reckless. Oh, ugh, that was dumb. Um, oh, that was really dumb. Whatever. Uh, all right, so I'm going to... I guess I could, like, fail to find, but that's that's a waste. I don't want to do that. So I will... Well, you've already committed a card because you played Breast Wings Perfect anyway. So. Yeah, no, I, I know, I know. The only thing I was thinking was, like, could I say I didn't use the Blade, but that was part of the activation cost, so I can't really go back on that either. Um, no, I think, I think so, you're attacking. I'm, I'm sure you can yeah. fail a test by investigating or something. Or no, you need to succeed, right? Yeah, yeah that's what's hard about it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm also going to use Sophie. Um, so I'm going to be at a 9 versus uh, whatever this guy is, 3 or something. And I succeed and he dies, and I draw a card, and I get the overpower to hands. Um, so I really would like to get rid of this Reckless. But I guess I could I could use Sophie twice, but I think that is a bad idea unless. Um, yeah, I would have just used I would have saved the Sophie and tried to do it second second try or something. But. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, my, my original plan, what I should have done was I should have kept the practice makes perfect, and I should have attacked with just Sophie and uh, Reckless, but I wasn't didn't 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 think correctly. Um, oh, I mean, I also I can um, if you take a damage, I can bandage you, I guess. Yeah. Well, so I, I basically I don't, I don't know have if one you want, action left. I don't know so if you want more cards is, in your hand, but <laughs> what happened um, to your other action? I had to engage. Oh, to engage. Yeah. 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 Um, I think that I do. I think I am going. I just can't be down that much money. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, attempt to investigate with reckless, and I think I'm going to I'm going to use Sophie twice. And I'm going to, if it's all right with you, I'm going to use bandages, and I'm going to uh, ship a damage to Sophie after your turn, or after uh, my turn's over. I mean, I can use bandages twice, and you take no damage, and then you can also ship <laughs> ship damage over to me. Uh, sure. So, yeah, why not? so be it. So be it. Well, I, unless you want on the men's later, I guess. I don't know. I guess I'll, I'll just I'll use bandages once. You can have yeah, yeah, let's, let's do it once. Yeah. Um, okay. So I took I took one real damage, and I healed one of the bandages. And I have a six versus a three on investigate. And uh, revealed wait. revealed locations with no clues. Oh, okay, so, so that's it's a zero. zero. Okay, yeah. cool. So I pass. Reckless goes away, uh, and I get a clue. And that's the end of my turn. And yeah, go ahead. All right. Oh, should I? I'm gonna have to discard stuff. Should I shortcut somewhere, like, or shortcut you somewhere? Does that help us at all? Uh, probably not. No, because I'm I'm, just, I'm gonna try to get these clues. I think. Um, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I'll leave afterward. But you wanted to give me a damage on anyway. Are you meant to me directly? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I'm just. Uh, you're right. I'll, I'll wait to tap until your turn's over. Okay. Uh, all right. So yeah, I'll I'll investigate. I'll commit these things. Uh, so I'm at a seven versus a three. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, why did you want to commit something? Uh, I was gonna offer that you could have my revenge lunch if you need it, but uh, I can take it on the second, the second investigate, I guess. Uh, does it does it actually help? 
Uh, well, I'm, I'd, I'd be at a four versus... Uh, I'm at four versus three to get the last clue, unless you want to grab it later. Uh, um, or I can commit the the ring, but... Uh, I kind of want to play the ring, because there's definitely encounter cards of this. What? Uh, yeah, why don't you... Here, why don't you take the original? All right. Uh, so that puts me at a six. All right. All set. All right, so I got all these clues. So now we can trigger this thingy. Uh, evidence one. Uh, you take several minutes to study the ornate arches in the entryway. The designs are both intricate and intriguing. A far cry from the general engravings you see on most of the buttresses of this kind. Odd symbols and images resembling excerpts from occult tomes adorn every inch of the stonework, though you do not recognize many of them. What reason did Wycliffe have to include these designs? Remember that you studied the architecture. Probably a spooky reason. Uh, I'm going to put a thingy on here to remind us that we did a thing. All right. I sure did. Um, cool. So uh, I got one action left. I guess I could leave, but I think we don't want that quite yet. So I might just gain a money so I can get Pathfinder down next turn. That seems good, right? It was pretty good. I'm going to do that. All right. Uh, and then Jessica heals, and I get on um, the men back, and then you can ship me a damage. Wait, we almost should have had you draw a card before you did that, so that if you found a crack the case, you could pop it. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it was it was it was bad odds. So yeah. All right, uh, those both our turns. So enemy phase and then upkeep. I don't know. <laughs> really getting into my weaknesses up, here. Uh, back up again. Uh. uh Uh, let's see. Doom happens, and I get a counter card. Oh boy! Oof, I guess I should have gotten this ring down sooner. <laughs> uh, I was thinking that last turn. Like, yeah. What an interesting card. Hey, why don't you do your encounter card? Warped bone work. Oh, it's so scary. Um, attach it to the location. Ugh, non Euclidean. Uh, oh, interesting. Uh, well, it's fairly easy to get rid of, and it's not that bad if we leave it there, I think. So, we got options. Um, I mean, I, I definitely have extra cards, so I could get rid of it if we want. I don't think I really care about taking damage as long as we have, like, healing that's going to keep flowing, which I think we do. Well, I guess, I mean, are we ever going to come back here? Uh... Um, I mean, maybe not, but I feel like maybe. Attach location gains. I, mean, I, I I could just get rid of it because really like the only the only other thing I'm gonna do is like draw cards basically. Oh, so. well, but this also makes us this we can't go directly to either of these locations from here. We can go to a kind of, we it moves us to a, a far away location. Which I don't know if that's good or bad, but arguably, well, I, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, oh, yeah, I, don't think it, it so I, I I lean towards I'll go first and get rid of it. If you feel differently, let me know. I guess that's fine. Okay. Uh, I will go first. I will uh, first action discard to take the initiative and get rid of it. Um, second action, I guess I should have drawn a card first, but whatever. Uh, second action, draw a card. <laughs> uh, I think third action, draw a card. All right. Go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn this enemy, and I'll let, you, let it engage you. Uh, okay. I feel like I feel like you could have you could have dropped a let me go first kind of a jam, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, well, I like, I, I couldn't I couldn't I wouldn't have revealed anything. I couldn't have I couldn't have uh, I, in the moment I couldn't think of an argument about why your plan was bad and I should just go first for some reason. So you could, you could literally <laughs> just say like no, it's let me go first. I got something I want to do. Yeah. I think that would that's with okay. uh, whatever. It, it doesn't actually matter. Um, this is gonna let you get this... you sticking very strictly to the rules. <laughs> this is gonna let you take a damage and a horror during enemy phase. Yeah, I think exactly. you like, you like I, that. I, I, you I don't to... hate it. That's fine. You get to draw cards. Yeah. Uh, I 
I mean, I kind of want to get rid of psychosis for for uh, for some other reason. Also, um, it's at the end of the round, so it's after I discard a hand size. It's perfect. Yeah, when you get rid of psychosis, have, right. I shouldn't have given you my revision because I have almost enough assets to actually play it now. <laughs> All right, uh, just is gonna heal if you want to give me a damage, or you can, or you, yeah, you can give me a damage. No, let's do it. So, or you can wait and give me a horror, but. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm I'm all done. Uh, okay. So enemy phase, I get hit. Yeah. I take it in draw card, and then upkeep happens. Yep. Damn, I oh, definitely man. should have kept that original. <laughs> um. I don't know how to role play this cleaner, like. Is it because I see him and then like when I point him out, he pops out or something? I guess that's the vibe. That would be pretty cool. That's like a fun way to think about it. Um... Oh no, the the cultist symbol. You lose a resource whenever you draw it. If there's a conspirator allegation, it's kind of bad. It's not just if you fail. Rough. Yeah, you gotta discard cards now. You have too many cards. Yeah, I'm still thinking about it. Um, I think I could get rid of a shortcut. It feels weird, but I think I can do it. Mm. All right. Uh, ooh, we got a fixer. All right. Kind of card for Dan. Uh, agility three. If you fail, the nearest conspirator. Uh, I believe. There, your guy is a conspirator, and so, mine is. So yeah, ne neither one actually moves, but I guess you can pick which one you want to hit you. Um, I think I don't care about that at all. Um, my so, my guy does two damage. Your guy does a damage and horror. So. Uh. I mean, I think the only thing I don't I don't really want to use Sophie and then still get hit. So I think what I'll do is I'll just not use Sophie mm -hmm. and expect to get hit. So three against three. Nope. Oh, I fail. All right, so go. I'm just gonna have I'm just gonna have my guy hit me. All right. Um, so I will take one and one, and draw a card. Oh, that's pretty. Well, that's. I guess I can't do that because I have to fight this cleaner guy. But yeah. whatever. All right. Um. So I can go first and kill these guys. I guess that seems good, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, I like that. Okay. Um. So I will. I guess I'll kill my dude first. Um, so I will have a, basically a seven without committing anything. Um, I'm going to commit overpower to it anyway, because let's draw some cards and we use a sword charge and we kill this guy and drop the overpower. Oh, look at that. Um, and then second action, I'm going to use the last sword charge and attack your guy. And I'm going to use Sophie, I think. Well, I'll commit this vicious blow. And that puts you uh, like a eight, right? I don't think you need uh, Sophie. I will actually, well, it's not about needing Sophie, Ben. It's about celebrating the memory of my dearly departed uh, wife. Who can also draw your card uh, during your preface? Okay. Um, so I committed the home front, so I'm I'm up by a lot. Uh, yep. Yeah. I, I I guess I won't use Sophie. Whatever. Uh, you're wait, about what to you're saying? you're about to draw two more cards and stand together. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Right. So I kill I kill your dude and I heal one, um, and then so I have one action left. The thing is, like, I could play the stand together, but I'm just gonna discard two cards if I do that. I would almost rather this turn. I would rather play like the safeguard or something, and then next turn play stand together. Do you need the money or the cards this turn? No, but I was gonna leave. Like, I was gonna oh, play Pathfinder way, I, and go get clues. But see, this way, if I play safeguard, I get to follow you. So that's the other reason. You do this oh, way. okay, that's fine then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I play safeguard, oh. and uh, then it's the end of my turn. All right. So I'm gonna play Pathfinder. Immediately use Pathfinder to go somewhere. Uh, let's go to the living room, I guess. Uh, the room is welcoming, but the fireplace is strangely spotless. Uh, if you have found a strange ornament, you can we can spawn the private study. I know I've already forgotten what we've done. 
Okay, we haven't done that yet. Okay. Um, at the end of the round, if there are fewer than two clues on this, add one clue to the living room. That's annoying. How do we get the victory? Does that mean we have to end the game by when we get the all the clues off here? All right. Did you follow me? Yeah. You you have good safeguard, right? Okay. Um, I feel like I keep going and come get these clues later because they're just gonna keep spawning. So, <clears throat> right? Yeah. So uh, sure. Yeah. I'll keep going. So second actual action. Uh. That scares the service quarters. Discard cards from the hand as a group with a total of eight skill icons. We can read evidence five. Too bad I just uh, committed the um, yeah the home front. Although I have, the TTI would be pretty good. Uh, did you take a da no? You didn't take a damage this turn because if you if you if you took a damage, we could like we can pretty easily See, like commit you, both you, on the men. You talked you talked me out of briefly taking a moment to remember uh, my beautiful Sophie, and now now look what happens. Um, <laughs> Um, I mean, if we do like the idol plus TTI plus like uh, I'll, I'll throw in like the, you I mean, know, whatever, like, or, like, or yeah. you can throw in a, on the mend. No, yeah, no. I, I can throw it on the mend. Does, does take the initiative have icons right now, though? Oh, good question. I think, um, it, I think it does not. But we could do it at the beginning yeah. of enemy phase. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Okay, then uh, I'll just try to get clues. Uh, it's a shroud too, so it should be. Should be easy in theory. Uh, five versus two. Okay, great. Uh, cool. Get both those clues. What do we need clues for? I guess spending on stuff and victory. So, all right. Uh, Jessica heals. Uh, I mean, not, well, that means I missed the window for on the men getting on the men back, which is annoying, but it's fine. Uh, all right. So, do we want to do that now? Then I guess. Yeah. Well, so enemy phase. Can I ship you a damage? Yeah, sure. I do that, and then yeah, do you want to? Um, so I'll throw in a TTI. Yeah, idle and on the mend, and that we're just discarding them, right? Okay, so then we read evidence five. Oh, I didn't read the story text here, which is probably relevant. Uh, Weecliff's manservant is lying face down on the floor of the simple room with a bloody welt in the back of his head. Huh. I wonder. I wonder if. I wonder how he died. Yeah. Uh, it takes you several minutes to treat the valet's injury and rouse him to his senses. Oh, he's alive. Uh, <laughs> take care not to alert the assassins further. The elderly man looks up at you uh, blurry, but with the motivation of duty. Master James, is he? You shake your head curtly, and the valet gives a despairing sigh. The poor man. I should have listened to his warnings, but he had been so erratic these past days. He would shut himself in his room for hours at a time, only emerging to seek some atlas or geographical book. But I never would have imagined that any of that would lead to... The valet's voice quavers as he buries his face in his hands. You tell him to stay out of sight until the coast is clear. All right, so we have found his valet. All right, uh, so we did that during enemy phase. Uh, and then upkeep. I mean, I really need to draw some cards. Um, okay. Uh, Doom happens, we're at four out of six, and I drew, oh, this thing is here again, huh? Uh, yeah, well, we're gonna do the, we reveal the top three cards, and we decide how sad we are about losing those. We are, in fact, sad about losing those, but they get removed from the game, because I'm not gonna, not gonna add a Doom. I mean, it's really um, only the cracked case that's the really rough part. The yeah. Tooth is like whatever. I mean, it is it is the correct case. That's sad. So yeah, uh, yeah. And the emergency aid, I I don't think I've actually played emergency aid yet. That's gonna <laughs> eventually get replaced for my deck. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, um, so my plan is to hurl my sword directly at this guy's face. Okay. And um, and then play some cards is what I'm thinking of. Sounds good. Um, and I guess I actually could. See, I could save the Vicious Blow and just hit him with the sword, then throw it at him, but I almost think I would really like an action to play some cards. Because, um, like, I could play a Stand Together and a Hallowed Mirror, maybe, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, I, I would like to Stand Together, uh, definitely. Oh, actually, you know what? No, instead of the Hallowed Mirror, I could play the Agency Backup, and in that case, I don't need the Vicious Blow as much. Do you have so, money for Agency Backup? Well, I will if I do a Stand Together and an Active Thought or Active Desperation. Right? <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, so... 
action one, I'm going to throw my sword directly at this guy. Um, so that gives me, that's like eight versus three. Um, but then I'm also going to commit this vicious blow, so it's nine against three. Okay. Um, and then, uh, you know what, gosh darn it, um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, think a little bit about uh, Dear Sophie while, I, while I'm doing this. Uh, do you want me to heal you immediately? Um, sure, yeah. Here, here's an on-demand. Hooray. Um, there's a decent chance I'm going to discard that, but we'll see. I mean, you could immediately commit um, it if you wanted, but... Uh... <laughs> Okay. So I succeed, and this guy dies, and I gain three from the AOD. Okay. Um, and uh, then I will stand together. Okay. So we both draw two cards and get two money. Ooh, we got a gun. I, I would love to get the agency back up down, but I actually think the gun is a higher priority, so I'm going to play the gun. Okay. Uh... Then I'm going to go. I'm going to move to here. I've realized the skull is already at a minus two, and it's probably going to be minus four uh, very quickly. Oh no, non Euclidean. Shuffle a non weakness card from your hand back into your deck. That's kind of fine. Um, so you get to choose. Are you following me in here? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, you're, the beard, it's, it's more often than every 10 minutes. <laughs> um, so. Uh, all right, so in his victory here, I guess I might as well get the clues. Unless, are we worried about the skull going up more? It could keep going and come back later, I guess, because this is kind of the middle. Uh, I don't really care that much. Yeah, I haven't gotten my dream diary going yet, but uh, yeah, I guess I don't care. All right, uh, let's. I mean, this is also like this is two clues, and I have two scene of the crimes in my deck that I haven't drawn yet. Like we could just wait, and I could scene it if you don't feel great about investigating. Well, no, it's not. Uh, I mean, later, it's, I'm, I'm gonna practice something perfect and get a perception and stuff. So, oh. yeah, that works. Um, so, oh, I don't have my own men to commit. Which is sad. But if you have something, you're gonna, you can commit something to me if you want. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, do you need it? Uh, well, let's see if I got a perception in these top ten cards. Looks like I didn't. Very sad. Oh, yeah, no, no. Uh, no cards. So, uh, yeah, I'm just at a four versus a four. So, but I don't really care if I fail, I guess, because I don't didn't get the perception. <laughs> so, uh, whatever. All right. Uh, so I failed that. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep moving. So, uh, let's go. Oh, that means that means I have to do this shit again. Uh, that's fine. I can shuffle in. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna shuffle in. Oh, is it when we move in and when we move out? Or is it uh, switching you know out? No, you know what's in. interesting? There's no reason we couldn't shuffle on the end into our decks, right? Because it only says if it would be discarded from right, where I put it out of play. What's the question? Could, could we choose on the end to shuffle into our decks? Huh. It just says if it would be discarded from anywhere. Well, it's my card, so I don't think you can actually shuffle it into your deck, but I think you it could. could get shuffled into my deck, which. <laughs> I wouldn't I mean, like I'm, I wouldn't like I'm, that I'm, very much. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that to be clear. <laughs> okay. Like, it would it would it would be funny though, right? Uh, I'll sh um I'll shuffle a second one back in. Okay. Alright, we're and, in the drafting room now. If you have twelve or more cards in your hand, hmm. well, I mean that probably happens to Mark every turn or two by accident. We so. can we can probably make that happen. It is kind of tough. But we can probably. I do mean, it. we can also spend clue. You can spend any amount of clues to draw two clues for each clue you spend. So, uh, um, I I could commit a perception to you if you if you want to get clues here. Yeah, I mean, I, also, I have five clues, so I guess I could make that happen next turn probably. Uh, yeah, if you want to commit a perception, that sounds good. Um, Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, so it puts me at a six. Oh, which one is four? Oof. All right. Oh, bad news, Ben. Yeah. All right. Pretty pretty bad turn for me. Uh, all right. So Jessica heals. Now I have on the bend, and then upkeep. That was shortcut. Okay. Can I use song bow again? For sure. Um, uh, I almost. Yeah. I was I was gonna ask if I could ship a horror to you, but I think I don't really care. Like damage uh, is fine. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. Are you are you basically just waiting for a bizarre diagnosis to take care of you, dude? 
Uh, yeah, or any card that heals anything. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's, like, um, I'm fine with spending cards and spending clues and drawing a bunch of cards here. I've already drawn my weak the weaknesses, so it's like whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, God, I've been forgetting to do something for this. I'm also about to play like three solemn vows the next few turns. So yeah. or three um, soothing melodies rather. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean that sounds good. We're also at five out of six doom. Oh, man, I definitely should have played this stupid ring by now. Um, you keep getting them. I know. Well, it's uh, it also it also it triggers if you draw them. It's it must carry at your location, and you'll probably Ooh, always be at this, my location. This would be really annoying. Like it's not actually that bad, but it would just really piss me off. I think uh, I would like to draw cards, so I think I'm going to use Sophie, uh, and I think maybe I also I think I commit on the mend as well. Um, so I'm up by four, and I succeed. Good job, Dan. Okay. Uh, did you commit the on the mend before you triggered Sophie? Uh, sure. Because if the answer is yes, I could immediately heal you and give you on the mend back. Love that for us. Yeah. So I'll do that. Um, I can't be on the mend back. All right. Uh, should I be at zero or one? Uh, I don't know. Did you did you Where's actually that? take the damage? You shipped me a damage last turn. I think I went from two to one, and no, I went from one to zero. And I'm, I'm gonna. I think I should be at zero. But I'm not. I'm not totally sure, but I don't think. I do. Just... Okay. Uh, we'll we'll asterisk later. If I'll review the tapes. Um, all right. So, uh, I mean, I kind of want to press this button and draw like a lot of cards. Um. Do you do you have some way to like play most of them? Yeah, or, that, I mean, not that, that, it, not that it really matters, but I don't have too much money. But yeah, I'd play some of them. Yeah, I do. You, I, you could also play the ring first, and then you wouldn't have to discard as much if you care. Well, but we need to get. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, like, I mean, I could. Crank, I, basically, yeah. cranks up your hand size by four. Uh, does it? No, it's plus yeah, two. Well, it's, well, but you also you have two uh, counter cards in your hand. So like oh yeah yeah oh yeah that's right it's true okay yeah no I'll play, I'll probably play the ring I feel like I should do this first regardless because because I, I want to how many cards do I draw then like phew. I need to have twelve cards in my hand so I need to draw at least six cards but I could draw more than six cards sure could I'm gonna draw eight cards so I'm going I'm going first unless you really wanted to go first no go for it all right oh man look at all those cards Whoa. oh man look at that bone saw. Ooh, uh, I could play that. I have no money for that. Um, you know, that seems like a really good card to commit. You could commit that and get some clues, maybe. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to trigger this thing because I have 12 more cards. And yeah. Uh, oh, compared to the tiniest of the rest of the manner, the drafting room is stacked papers, all haphazardly strewn about. We're doing evidence to. Oh, no, I changed the camera. I need to add a page. All right. Uh, among the mountains of papers, you uncover a small stack of newspaper excerpts. The articles concern topics that you yourself would normally investigate. Many are reports of cult activities from various newspapers around the world, photographs of profane idols, uh, and claims of dark influence fill each page. Worse still are the stories of mysterious deaths from even those tangentially connected to these events. Wecliffe has meticulously examined the articles, highlighting several passages and events that bear some resemblance to the trials you face tonight, particularly those concerning ancient ruins, vile fish creatures, and a malevolent deity whose followers call it Cthulhu. The papers here show that Wecliffe was uh, by no means a cultist, rather someone who had discovered this grim reality by mistake. All right, uh, so we have read the news clippings, which puts our objectives at four. So we almost completed enough to just advance. Is this only act, or is it another act? Looks like it's only act, so maybe we just want to try to do all this stuff. But. Uh, all right, so that was my first action. So then I'm going to play the ring for two money. So now my hand size is 10. Uh, here's another solemn vow. Um, so I could play one more thing and not have to discard anything. Um, I also have two shortcuts, but I don't think I can get all these clues yet uh, this turn. So I do, I do have a um, scene of the crime. So like, if, if either of us draws an enemy, then I can grab two of these. Okay, I guess I'll play my other band. Oh, did I draw a Pesadic Diagnosis? No, I didn't. 
It's annoying. <laughs> um, I'm, also, I'm also maybe going to play agency backup so I can start getting clues that way. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm just going to investigate. Um, yeah, I mean, I really want to play these perceptions to draw more cards, though. Uh, I guess I can commit some stuff. So what's my what's my thing here? Three, four. I guess I'll commit the bone saw. I feel like for some reason last game I was upset that I didn't play it. But... That seems very prudent of you to commit okay. it. And I'll, this is a wise choice. And I'll commit on the mend. So I'm at a uh, plus four. So eight versus whatever this is. Three. Oh wait. Uh, what's I gonna commit? I was gonna commit perception too, right? Yeah. Commit, commit perception. Um. All right. So I'm at a uh, a lot. Eleven. 11 versus something. All right, great. So I, I go. Okay. Uh, so I draw two cards because I passed by enough. Oh, there's a bizarre diagnosis. All right, great. Um, nice. And I got one clue. Pretty good. Cool. All right. Uh, Jessica heals. So I get my own the men back. All right. Um, what I am thinking of doing is maybe like investigating once just to draw cards by using Sophie. And then click for a money and play agency backup. Or I could instead of playing agency backup, I could um I could play Hallowed Mirror and then use a soothing melody. But that I don't think we need that just yet. Uh yeah, I agree. I don't think we need the soothing melodies yet. Unless, unless yeah. you're like you are you trying to get them out before your deck shuffles? Mm, kind of, but I, I don't think that's I think we'll have time. I think we're okay. okay. So okay. Um, so I think, well, it's kind of borderline, but, um, so I think what I will do is I think I will investigate first and I think I will use Sophie and commit it on the vent. So I'll be at six versus three Okay. and the skull is a minus two. So that seems pretty safe, I think. Yeah. Uh, do you want me uh, to heal you immediately or do you, you just, or do you want to just, or you want to solemn on uh, these stuff? I wouldn't mind healing immediately because I could solemn vow off of the agency backup maybe. Okay, yeah, sure. You uh, get the on the back. You get the on end back. Oh no, wait, well, I get, or do you get the on end back? No, I guess you don't. No, so. Okay. All right, that's too bad. Um, all right, so I used Sophie and immediately ban you we bandaged it, and I committed the on the end, and I drew a card off of it, and I succeed, and I get one of these clues. Click two, gain a resource. Click three, play agency backup. And uh, at the beginning of enemy phase, I will use the agency backup to grab a clue, I think. Uh, okay. Uh, is it horror to get clues? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I did my turn already. So enemy phase then? Um, so at the beginning of enemy phase, can I ship a damage onto Jessica and a horror onto you? Uh, I, you can, have, I can you probably heal it off you with Susan Melody later. So. Yeah, that's fine. All right, uh, and then you you're getting a clue with agency backup. Uh, actually, or you did that I already. Even, I did. Did I did I not even have a damage actually? Uh, you did not have a damage because I healed you. <laughs> I thought about using Sophie twice on that investigate, but I didn't. I should have right. done that. Get the on the mend. I mean, actually. do you want to ship me a horror then or something, or don't care? Don't care. Okay. All right. Uh, then upkeep. All right. I gotta do a bunch of, I have to activate brain. So my hand size is a 10. I have 10 cards, great. Love that. All right, uh, so we are going to advance though. Because okay. we are at six doom now. So doom. All at once, a great commotion sounds from the front of the house. Men in dark suits file inside with weapons drawn and other tools at hand. They spread throughout the manor with driven purpose, working to erase everything you're working towards. Your interference has become a priority, uh, a priority problem to these men. Put it the set aside. TikTok men into play next to the dinner deck. Shuffle the discard pile. Oh, no, it's one of those ancient evils that shuffled back in. All right, TikTok men. What did it say to put them next to the agenda deck? Oh, interesting. Uh, so this is a massive enemy that's considered to be at each revealed location. If you defeat them, flip them over, resolve the text on the other side. They have eight health. Okay. Um, Interesting. It's kind of annoying. All right. Uh, burn notice. These additional agents have sped up your schedule considerably. If you don't deal with them and soon, they'll quickly erase everything you've worked to discover, if not yourself. At the end of the round, and if they're at a location with any amount of clues, place one doom. As a group, place two clues in your location to remove one doom from them. Well, I 
I hope you can just murder them, probably. So. Um, I mean, I think I can probably. I bet I can do like six damage to them. Uh, seven actually, including the agency. Well, unfortunately, my one damage card was committed. So. Uh... Uh, I think if you if you committed like on the mend and like something else and lucky, you might be able to punch her once. Does that help us? Oh, because you can use seven damage. Uh, yeah, because I well, uh, yeah, because I think I can do seven. I mean, we, we we can. I can go first and see if I'm able to do seven. Yeah. Okay. Because I I could punch it once. Yeah. I could also see and grab these two clues, but I guess that's not super high priority. Uh, I mean that's also good, but then we would need to. I, I don't think I can punch them three times, so I think that's inefficient. So one well, of us have to evade. We could evade them, and and the, oh, but it would still gain doom off of these locations. And yeah, but I don't I don't know if we care about that. Was, even if it was evaded. Uh, I assume the doom goes away when we kill them, but maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Yeah, I I think we should try this, to kill it if we can. This, this could be like a this could be like representing like a swarm of them being everywhere. Uh, so maybe like killing them just like knocks them out for a round or something. I don't know. <laughs> that would be annoying. <laughs> uh, All right. Well, let's yeah let's let's try to kill it. I think right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I so, mean I can I can get the clues if you kill it. So. So when I have baseline, I have five versus three. So I want to use probably like I have an overpower and I have Sophie. Um, so I'm gonna click. I'm gonna first attack. I'll use a bullet, and I will commit an overpower. So I'm up by four, and I uh, annoying as hell. Um, so I lose my last dollar, but I do hit and do two damage. Um, I draw a card off the overpower. Uh, oh, there's motivational speech. Uh, well, when I when I finally draw right. a grit. Uh, sorry, when them. when you drew a cultist, I have to reveal both these cards. Uh, but I will not make you fail the test, so I will take a damage on horror. Uh, okay, interesting. Um, uh, and then um, next next attack, I will use Sophie, draw a card off of that, um, and I use another bullet. Uh, did you need me to bandage you to to get him on the mend? You don't care. Uh, not really. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so that was another two damage, and then click three, use another bullet. Um, uh, do I use Daring? I think I actually use Sophie again, because I, I don't mind riding with like one damage on me, that's fine. Okay. Um, and I believe that is a pass. Yeah. It's minus two right now, yeah. Yeah, so um, at the beginning of enemy phase, I well actually I guess I'll do it during your turn because if you can if you can well if you don't kill it or evade it it's gonna a will you every time you do anything so I recommend that, that you is just correct so you'll have to take a damage of the agency backup but I also yeah. can I can heal the agency backup with bandages too so yeah or or I can just move it so I'm about um, but uh but let's see if you can punch it first right all right yeah so it's difficulty three. Yep. I'm, at, I'm at a base three, so I can commit uh, on the man. Oh, I can actually, if, if you want, I can commit a daring to you. Do do I get to draw a card? No. Uh, no, but it, it would it would give it retaliate. But... It already has retaliate, doesn't it? Oh no, that was something else. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it's also three symbols, which is pretty good. Uh, yeah, then I can save my lucky for something else. So, uh, all right, sure. So that puts me at a eight. No, oh, actually, it's been a nine. I forgot I have Jessica. <laughs> oh, uh, relevant. Do I actually? In that case, maybe I, will, I guess I save the on the men for investigate. I guess because uh, yeah, save it. Yeah. Uh, okay, because I'm at an eight with the or I'm at a seven versus three. So, uh, cool. Nice. All right, so I punched it. So we've done seven damage to it. All right. I use agency backup and I uh, ping it for one. Okay. So we flip them over. Uh, the final member of the strange group collapses against a wall and slides down to the ground, dead. As you catch your breath and scan the darkened corners of the room for more body, for more before you calm yourself and begin to search the bodies. On one of the men, you find an, op an opened letter written on stationery from uh, Weecliffe's own desk and in his hand. Gentlemen, concerning the stolen shipment, I have employed private investigators of considerable skill to locate it. I assure you that no further efforts will be required to recover the artifacts in total. J. Weecliffe. You can only guess whether this letter was sent to the agent's employer or intercepted by them, but it suggests that Weecliffe was trying to keep them from getting involved in the search. Add this card to the victory scray. Remember that you have retrieved Weecliffe's letter to victory. Great. Uh, 
All right, so we've done five of the things now, so we can advance basically whenever, but I assume we want to get all the victory. So, uh, and also, I don't. I guess I don't know if this the if there's something else going on after we flip this act, but um, what was the thing we need to do to find the study? Strange ornament. Okay, I assume that must be in the bedroom. Okay. All right, so I got two actions left. Um, I definitely have a ladder to like find a bunch of cards with um but i don't want to do that here obviously i don't want to do that like in the entry hall on the way back so yeah i guess we just investigate um i mean i have another perception too oh man should i just pop the bizarre diagnosis i was kind of like thinking oh i should just mill my deck before i heal <laughs> heal the bystander um you're still eight cards away but i but i have a ladder I mean, also having the bystander out has not really caused you any problems yet. I no oh, actually, that's a good point. I took the damage from something, so actually, uh, I put that. I heal that with bandages instead of putting on the bystander. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, as you may have noticed, I have some hidden cards that anytime we draw a cultist or a squid, if it's an important test, I have to take a damage. So that and that yeah, has to go on the bystander. I would. So. I would maybe just diagnose this guy. Okay. Uh, I dropped a clue. Yeah, I drop a clue, but that's fine. All right. Yeah, I can. I can pick and up. then, uh, then I'll investigate. I'll use perception, and I guess on the mend because uh, I'm gonna get back right away. Uh, so I'm at a nine. Whatever. Uh, yeah, nine. Hmm. Well, I don't really want to fail. So I guess the TikTok guys was a conspirator, right? Yeah, it was. Uh, Man, that cultist. Yeah. Brutal, brutal time to draw that cultist. Yeah. Well. Uh. Oh. I already. Well. I already healed the bystander, right? I did that first. Yeah. So that's that's fine then. Uh. So yeah. I guess I'll take the damage and the horror, but I can take it on myself. Um. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Uh. I'm definitely gonna have to get rid of those at some point. So it's you know at some point. Or or you just spam heals on me. Yeah. yeah. I'm, if so I have a turn around to fight anything, I'm about to blast some soothing melodies. Yeah. So. All right. So I succeed. I get one. Uh, what do I succeed by? Uh, more than more than two, right? Yeah. Uh, so I get two cards. Uh, cool. And that's it for my turn. Then right, I did one, two, three. Yep. All right. So then Jessica heals. I get this back. I guess the I'm gonna... of enemy. I move one onto Jessica. Okay, I guess, yeah, I will have to discard something, but I guess I don't care. Oh, I do have logical reasoning to heal myself, too, with logic, if I need to, but obviously mirrors are better, so. All right, uh, did, were you doing something during enemy phase? Or enemy phase? I used one soothing melody. Okay. All right, uh, upkeep. Uh, practice makes perfect, but with... Uh oh, I'm shell-shocked. Okay, uh, discard, discard, okay. Uh... All right, Doom. So, yeah, ten, ten out of uh, or one out of one out of ten Doom. Uh, do, do, do. Convert, a, convert attack, agility three. Uh, we do not have four more Doom. If you fail, take a damage. If you let two, it gains surge. Uh, I mean, I don't really care about taking damage. Uh, surge. Like if you can, if you can avoid a surge, that's good. I don't have anything to commit though. Yeah, I'd be like, I'd commit my on the mend and I have lucky. <laughs> so, was all right. but I mean, this, this does seem, this does seem like an encounter deck that's pretty good for tooth. Yeah. I, like, I, have... I don't know when you're going to have time and money to play it, but like, I think you yeah. will. I mean, I also, I also could commit shortcuts if I really want to pass this, but it's more I don't want to fail by two or more, so I can just lucky it. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're on the mend. So I'm at, I'm at zero versus, or three versus three. Wow. Oh, look at you. All right, and I get a free heal, so I get my own men back. Uh, should I heal Jessica? Is that better? Because then you can put two damage on her. It is, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, so so I pass that, and great. And then the counter card for Dan. Missing pieces. Uh, uh, test will three. If you fail, place a clue at your location for each point you fail by. Uh, I don't think I want to fail this. So, but I think yeah. I, I wouldn't care that much about failing it by like one or something. So, I think what you know, I'll do is. I can commit a lot of reasoning to you as well because I got lots of cards. Um, sure, yeah, let's do that and I'll use Sophie, I guess. Okay. 
So uh, for... I'll heal you with advantages so you can have the mana on the end. <laughs> Whoa, look at all this. Hey. Uh, I succeed. And did you take the heal from the advantages? Uh, yeah. All right, uh, cool. So there's no enemies this turn, so I guess... Uh, do you want to go first, and you can, like, scene and then do whatever? Um, I don't have money to scene. What I was thinking, what I was planning to do was stand together, oh. play Pallid Mirror, and then Soothing Melody. Okay, that's fine, too. Uh, okay. I'll just get the clues, which, yeah, it's fine. So, stand together. Oh, look, two copies of Gret. Um, oh, do I have two play, bizarre diagnoses? Play, play Hallowed Mirror. And then play Soothing Melody. Um, I was thinking of healing one horror from each of us. Does that sound reasonable? Sure. Okay, I do that. Oh, look, another Soothing Melody. Um, I'm going to have to describe a bunch of cards, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, uh, was that, your, that was your whole turn? Yep. Oh, right. uh, well, I, I also want to pick up a thing with agency backup, but it doesn't matter whether I do that here or in enemy phase, so. Uh, well, I, I'm probably going to leave this. Look, I was going to get both clues and try to le and leave. So if you want to get one of the clues and then I can yeah, leave. Yeah, do you want to just get one? Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, do I want to play any of this stuff? I mean, I, really, I let's see. I want to figure out how to get... These, I want to get all the clues off of here and then like shortcut across the map before my deck shuffles. Um, uh, all right, so yeah, I don't think I have any practice targets. Is one of these three cards really my dream diary? I mean, I talked a big game at the beginning, at the beginning that was like, not, I don't care, I'll go through my deck fast enough. Um, I mean, the, the two of my last four cards were grants, like it, yeah. you know, it, 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 it happens, it, it happens. Yeah, all right, exactly. so. Yeah, let's just investigate first. So I'll come in on the mend. Um, at a puts me at a six versus. Oh, one of these is my magnifying glass too. Six for <laughs> six versus th uh, three. Uh, ooh, hmm. I mean, I feel like yeah, I don't care about. Uh, well, yeah, but that's not the that's not the thing. Well, I got yeah. I, gotta... yeah. I mean, this is a very low stakes investigate, so I feel like I should fail this and get rid of the the horror one because the damage one I don't care about. Probably, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So let's get rid of the horror one. Um, because I don't, I can only get one of one of them, I think. Or can I get rid of both of them? So when it's revealed, it makes that test automatically fail, but it doesn't say. I think I can get rid of both of them. Because it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't stop the test from continuing. It just yeah, automatically it fails. Like, so I've, you know. so I've still revealed it. Yeah, so I think uh, I think I trashed them both then. Great. Uh, okay, so I have two actions left, right? Yeah. So I will still try to investigate again. Um, I want to commit that. I'm not going to get to play. How many cards do you have between us? We have like 21 cards. Yeah, I'm going to commit a bizarre diagnosis because I think we're fine on healing right now. So... Uh, so I'm at six or three. Wow. See, totally fine Whoa. on healing. <laughs> uh, uh, I forgot to put my on the end of the side again. Yeah, I guess, uh, hmm. I mean, if you heal Jess, I'll just send two. Yeah, two let's, right let's, now. yeah, let's heal Jessica now. Sure, I'll do that right now. And then you can ship two damage to her and she'll, uh, heal again, so. We're gonna, we're gonna make sure Jessica is never without two damage for more than, that's, like, a second. That, that's the goal. <laughs> Uh, do you want to grab the last clue and I will Pathfinder away? I already grabbed a clue. Oh, you did? did you oh, did I, did I grab a clue? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. And then uh, I guess I cracked the case because I'm about to shovel my deck. Do you need money? I don't... I could always... I would love like one dollar. Yeah, I don't know how much money I need. So if, if you can use all of it, you could take all of it. But otherwise, I'll, I'll take a little. Uh, I think I can use basically all of it. If okay. you don't, if you don't need it, would you I mean, want one? I, take two. I, I, sure. Yeah. I mean, I have like death, and I have. I mean, take take more if you need it. No, it's I don't have much. I don't have much going on. Okay. So, yeah. uh, so I will pathfinder up to here. Wait, this one, we already did the thing here, right? Yeah. Uh, master bedroom. The assassins have already done a cursory search of the bedroom. Anything left here will be well hidden indeed. Uh, if there's no clues here, we can find a strange ornament. If we spend eight clues, we can get an interlude. Right, uh, so we need, we need a couple more. Like, okay. if, we get, if we get these, we're good. Yeah, we are good. Exactly that. So, okay. Uh, how many actions have I done? I did a failed investigate. I actually investigated. 
free moved. I guess I still have one action left. Uh, I kind of want to leave both clues here in case you can see it. Uh, I kind of want to play Tooth to have that out. Any any strong yeah. objection to that? If not, I'm just fine. I mean, I, I think the the only reason not to is like I think the game might be over in a few turns, but it seems fine. Uh, yeah, that's true, but um, I, I don't think it's bad. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, there's no victor here. That makes it sad you to could, get these I mean, clues. You, you could also whatever. like logical reasoning yourself or whatever, but uh, I mean, I'm not really worried about that right now. Me. Like, yeah, I, I don't think I don't think it matters. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not too worried about that. I think we're okay. So, all right, uh, enemy phase. Upkeep. Oh, there's the Dream Diary. I don't, it may not even be worth playing at this point. But, uh, all right, Doom happens and counter card for me. Uh, around every corner. This is that agility test. Uh, let's commit the on the mend. I get plus one from two, so I'm at four versus three. I have a lucky. Uh, yeah, just that's fine. Uh, all right, let's use the lucky, I guess. Because we don't want it to spawn, or do we want to spawn an enemy? I guess. Uh, I think having an enemy out would be sort of good. Yeah, I guess let's. Uh, I guess let's spawn. It will attack me and it will engage me. But uh, hey, having having two enemies out, not great, but still fine, I think. So, well, yeah. I don't know what else is this in the counter deck. Oh, I guess we've shuffled the whole encounter deck, so all the enemies are in here. Well, or yeah, I can yeah. or I can pass it and then I get to draw Maybe. a card. Like, I, that's I, also I, I, fine. I think it's fine either way. Up to you. All right, well, let's pass it because I get to draw a card. Uh, all right. So your turn. Oh no, Whoa. that's more scary than an enemy. There's some art. Uh, revealed location with most clues that does not have a copy attached, so it could be one of three choices. Um, plus two shroud. No more than one clue from a single action effect. After you successfully investigate or discover clues from a connecting location, this just seems like why wouldn't we just put it here and then when we get clues from here we can just immediately get rid of it? Uh, yep, that seems good because yeah. okay. we get to choose, right? It's not the closest location, yeah. That seems fine. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, I yeah, you, Jessica. So, yeah. So you, and you did pass it, so we don't need to make. So, I mean, I could still see one clue, but that doesn't seem worth the money. Can you just get one and all agency back up the other one? Yeah. Okay, great. Should um, I go first, or do you want to go first? I think I'm going to go first, because I'm going to probably... Because I'm going to move and try to get these clues, probably, after... Uh, I'm, I'm going to, like... I think I'm just going to play two Soothing Melodies and play Gret, is what I'm planning. Oh, uh, then you can go first, sure. Um, so I will play because I'm pretty sure my last card is a city melody. So I'm going to motivational speech Gret. Um, so Gret costs three less, so she costs two. And uh, then I'm going to soothing melody. Um, I mean, I guess I don't even really have to play it twice, but I might as well. Might as well, right? Yeah. So I'll heal one off of. Uh, I'll heal a horror off of the backup and one off of me. And I'll draw a card, and then I'll probably just heal a horror off of you and a horror off of me. Sure. And immediately take another horror because my deck cycled. Okay. Uh, and that's it. And I can, uh, yeah, all agency back up a clue as well. Okay. Right. Uh, so I'm going to investigate. Uh, I don't have on the men. Yeah, is it worth playing Dream Diary? I got. We do have like one, two, three more locations that I have to get clues from. But, uh, so yeah, I guess I do want to get Dream Diary going. So I'll play that first, and then I'll investigate um, Matt. I'm only at four versus three. Is my last card a magnifying glass? <laughs> um, that kind of looks like it. Yep, yeah, that, that seemed to be the case. Uh, so yeah, I guess I just, oh, I don't have money for Lucky. That's sad. Uh, can you heal myself somehow? That should be tapped. Uh, nope, I guess not. Do you have anything you want to commit that you're gonna get rid of otherwise? We're investigating. Yeah. Um, if if not, not, if not, I'll just go. I mean, I, I could commit the scene, but I'd rather have it and maybe play it next turn. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll gain the money so oh. I can. 
I was gonna say I could I could use practice makes perfect to try to hit a perception, but it's not great odds. Uh, nah. Um, I was getting money so I can lucky if I need to. Alright, I did not need to. So all right, I get the clue, and then this goes away. Wait. Yep. Investigates or discovers clues. Oh, I guess you could have just got rid of it with the. I guess it went away when you did the backup. So. Uh, okay, and then I'll Pathfinder to here, and I mean, I really want a double shortcut, but I guess I can do that next turn, All right. <laughs> or commit them, because I think we only shortcut once. All right, uh, that was the end of my turn, though, so up, uh, Jessica heals, I get on the men back, and then upkeep happens, oh, that was a magnifying glass, who knew? And then uh, Doom happens, and I get an encounter card. Oh, we got this thing again. Uh, that's, love, that's... love trying both my over. Right away. That that is more annoying. Um, I guess we could have put it. Wait, why why is it bad? Why don't we just put it here, get the clues where we are, and then it's fine. And you know what? Uh, fuck, we forgot to do this before we left. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's fine. You have Pathfinder. I have Shortcut. We'll we'll make it work. We'll we'll figure it out. Yeah, we got to go back there. <laughs> well, yeah. it's annoying because of this makes us get rid of, shuffle cards into our deck. Oh, but I can't shuffle cards in my deck right now because uh, well, I don't, I don't have a deck. No, but 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 wait, but, but I'm just saying like we put the cipher here, we get these two clues, and that gets rid of the cipher. It's like it was never. It's like never this is not this isn't a connecting location. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. Uh, I mean, I still I don't think we care about the cipher. Like, yeah, no, even, we don't. Yeah, I, no, I, that, I don't care about this at all. I'm more mad we forgot to trigger this stuff. So. Yeah, no, that that is definitely legit. Annoying. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so a counter card for Dan. Impossible. Uh, uh, yeah, impossible. <laughs> um, I think same deal as last time I drew this. It would just be annoying. So I'm going to try to pass it. So I'm going to use Sophie. And I'm going to commit an omnibent. So I'm up by four. And I succeed. Okay. Uh, cool. So. Wish, wish we drew an enemy. I've definitely seen these clues. Yeah, so unfortunately we both have to be up here to spend the clues. That's fine. I have cards I can shuffle back in. So I think you need. To, I want. I think you need to shortcut me and then just move yourself. Because my on my turn I'll pathfinder back to here and then hopefully get both clues and shortcut twice, so you can follow me that whole way. Wait, sorry. What's your? So, so you're saying I should go first, shortcut you up there, and then move, and then you take care of all the rest of the movement? Yes. Uh, I, don't, I, guess I, don't that's know, fine. I don't know what you do with the rest of your turn, but you can, if you can get clues or something before you move, that's also fine. I, I think that's fine. I think it also, like, I don't think it really matters where we... I can agency back up at either location, so, like, just tell me where you want me to do it. Okay. Um, okay. Well, anyway, so I might also... If that's all I have to do, I'm probably also going to play a gun. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, what I'll do is... Uh, shortcut you up there. Okay. And then I will move myself up there, and I will shuffle a overpower back in my deck. I have no deck to shuffle into, so I cannot do that. This doesn't mean oh. I, that doesn't mean I can't move or something dumb, right? It's an extra. It's uh, what is this? What is oh this? god, that'd be very annoying. Uh, let's see. Would move from location that must must resolve. So. I am resolving it, but it doesn't cancel my movement, right? It, uh, it's a stupid thing. Yeah, it, it um, does, I, so I try to resolve it, but I can't. So I don't, I don't yeah. think it, it's not a cost, so. Last, uh, last action, I click for a resource. Okay. And, uh, that's it. All right, so we find the strange ornament. We do that. Uh, and is that one of the things we have to do? No, no, it's not. Whatever. Uh, we find the strange ornament, and then we also spend eight clues, which is all of our clues. Yes. All right, and we do four, which one was it? Four, four. All right. Uh, in the headboard of Weecliff's bed, you uncover a panel in the wood that conceals a thin leather-bound journal. Its entries cover his thoughts since he moved to Arkham, and there is a clear transition within the last two weeks where his pleasant optimism about the expedition is replaced with a deep dread. 
The short form doesn't reveal all the details you would have liked, but he writes that he has discovered the terrible truth of his former colleagues, and he must keep the Mycenaean artifacts from them. All right, so we've read Wycliffe's journal. So now we've done six things out of the seven. All right, so now I'm going to Pathfinder back down to here. Um, I'll play this at some point. Um, oh, wait, this goes in my hand at some point. Wait, beginning of my turn. Yes. Uh, and you follow me with safeguard. Oops. And uh, is either one of these shrouds? Like, we don't actually want to get these clues until the end of the game because they're going to respawn. So we will investigate here. This is a shroud four, so I'll commit essence of the dream to be at a lot. Cultists, uh, there's no conspirator here, so I succeed, get a clue. Uh, I guess, uh, why don't you pick up this last clue? Right, I do that. I uh, don't have a cracked case, unfortunately, but. All right, and then I will shortcut twice, which means uh, you have to discard, or you have to shuffle a card back in your deck. Oh no. Now I'm here, I have two actions left, so. Uh, I'm triggered the thing for the ornament to spawn the other location. This will be a spooky location, but the ornament from Weakless Bedroom screws into place on the mantle and operates as a lever. A safety latch clicks off, and the fireplace glides backwards on two short rails. All right, so I'll move in there. It's my second action. I will assume you follow me. Uh, clues didn't spawn automatically. Sad. Uh, Okay, I assume these are connected, right? Let me check. Yeah. Um, reveal random chaos token. Reveal a tablet or a cultist. Cancel the effects of the move. Oof. Action. Reveal five random chaos tokens from the bag. You can spend any number of clues to reveal five additional tokens for every two clues spent. If you reveal a bless or curse, reveal again. Reveal two tablets or and or elder signs. Read evidence three. Oh man, that might be kind of annoying because we. Uh, oh, there are two tablets. Okay, I thought we only had one. Okay, um, so I have one action left. So I will investigate. I'll commit on the mend. Oh, do you want to ship damage to Jessica at some point in this round? Uh, sure. Okay. I'll commit on the mend. Uh, I just don't count anything else. So I'm at a. Can I or horror to you also? Yep, that's fine. All right, I got one of the clues. Okay, and I'm all done. Okay, so enemy fate or Jessica heals. So I went on the mend back. Uh, no, no enemies. Oh, I did discover a clue, so that means this goes away. Uh, and upkeep. I take a four. Oh, two reduction, which is fine, I guess. Um, and uh, you did upkeep. Uh, All right. And... There's, a lot, there's a lot of very funny stuff happening on Twitter right now, Ben. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but the last couple I, of weeks have been really good. I am aware of the Twitter situation. Uh, yeah. Is there something new that's happening? Uh, today, it's just the, the entire past couple of weeks, it's like Elon, the midterms, the FTX thing. Like, I'm just staring at my phone and just like smiling the entire time. Like, I, it's you know, I, sometimes life just brings you what you need, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, this spook spawns, I guess it spawns over here. It's mildly annoying, but it's fine. Yeah, counter card for you. Uh, oh, it's something to fight. I love it. An arsonist. Uh, <laughs> Arsonists. Well, it starts at the furthest location from all investigators. Sophie wasn't actually killed by an arsonist, but she could have been. Uh, isn't this great? It, this is an automatic damage with every enemy phase for you. Sounds great. <laughs> and I just take a damage and put it... Uh, oh, it's direct damage, is it? It's direct damage, but um, well, I mean, the, the bigger problem is it's gonna it, like it would a wall me all the time, right? So, like, we don't want to, well, oh, but it, it spawns no, as far it, away from it, spawns so. as far away from as possible, which is yeah, either of those two. We can okay. switch, so he's just burning stuff, it's kind of great. I love that. 
Well, I think we. I think in actuality, we're gonna have to go kill it because it's gonna accumulate doom, right? No, it's at, it's you have to choose one. At the start of the enemy phase, if it's ready, choose but one. But it's, it's each of us three at arsonist location. Oh, but, uh, but there are no. But there are none. Is oh, yeah. there are no investigators at his location. Okay, I missed that so part. Can we just so can we just pick that one and nothing happens? No, we we have to pick the doom one because it's a must. So that, this so actually yeah. is terrible because we have to run through the stupid second four. Well, again. Uh, but we also could like win the game in like one turn. So like, oh, that yeah, doom we should, might, probably, that, just, we should that, probably just go for that. that like, yeah. can I actually win this turn? So we need to get yeah. this clue. We need to do the action to do the thing, and then we need to move back to the living room to finish it. Yeah, but but we can't get those clues while the spook is here. I mean, I I think if so I go I, first, I think I could scoop up this clue, do the thing. I guess I don't have a, I guess I don't have a shortcut. I guess I might leave you to do the thing. Uh, it just means I can't I can't spend the clues to do the thing, which means there's a uh, very, there's a very tiny chance it could fail. So in that case, what if you get this one clue, and what if I get one of the clues? Oh, I could get both of the clues in the living room, actually. If you, like, uh, move sure. us over there, if you, like, just move over there last action or whatever, like, then I can do it. Uh, that's, yeah, that sounds oh, good. Oh, so in that case, if it's easier, I can grab the one right here with agency backup. Sure. Great. Do it. Oh, because you can uh, see in the crime the other one? Yeah, okay. Yep. Well, no, but you can't discover clues, because there's a spook here. Oh, no, you're right. Damn it, that yeah. sucks. Um, yeah, I have a deduction. I have a deduction. Oh yeah, you're you're fine then. So, oh yeah, I'll just get them on my turn. So yeah, I think you still go first and maybe go kill a spook. Uh, uh, oh, do you have an action to do the thing? Yeah, well, I could I could do the thing, move, and then kill the spook. Oh, no, but it's aloof. So why don't you, uh, why don't you leave why don't you leave the uh, clue here for me to pick up, and I'll just grab it and pathfinder and get the other two clues. Okay. Oh, there's a chance. There's a chance that the movement fails. That just means we take another well, turn. That's but fine. I thought I, I thought we wanted to do the action when both of us were here, so that we could spend all of we, our clues. We want we want to do the action when we ha the person here has three clues. So. What? We we oh no we need a uh, oh shit you're right no we do need all four clues right I miss I miss uh yeah it. so yeah if you can I guess if. So you pick it up with agency backup. You um. So, what, so okay. I, I, what if uh, I still go first? What if I do the thing? Yeah. I try to move us both. Yep. Uh, I don't know. I engage it for you, and then on your turn, you can kill it, and I can commit deduction to you, and you can get the clues. I mean, uh, worst case scenario, we just don't win this round. No, I, I so, mean that probably works. Yeah. I can use Sophie like three times or something. So yeah, that's, yeah, that's probably fine. Uh, and I, yeah, and again, worst case scenario, we just don't win this round. So it's that seems fine. Okay, so I okay. first action, I am doing this thing. So and we're spending all of our clues, and we're gonna be very sad, I guess, if uh, this doesn't work. So I have to reveal fifteen tokens. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, good start. Good start. All right, I don't need to reveal any more tokens. We didn't need any of those clues. Uh, okay, so we get to read evidence three. The hidden room appears to be as much a workshop as it is a study. Fragments of carved stone lie scattered throughout the various doors beside uh, mason's tools and scientific papers. It dawns on you as you run your fingers over one of the stones that space is bending ever so slightly around it. Wecliffe had somehow learned how to carve the stone to hold this strange property. Equally strangely, much of the room is covered in dust, as if it hadn't been touched in weeks. Why did Wecliffe abruptly stop after this significant breakthrough? Remember that you searched the secret room. So now we've done everything now, right? Uh, I think so. We've done all five things, and we... Was there one, was there a thing that was just on the, uh, the board? Oh yeah, the killing the guys was one of the things, right? Yeah, okay. Cool. Um... All right, and then I am going to, what can I do? So that was one action. Uh, is there something else useful I can do? Oh man, I could, uh, I can't drop cards. Cause I'll Pathfinder is free, but then once I'm here, I can't kill this guy. So I will engage him as my last action, but uh, what the fuck do I do first? Uh, play death. Uh, all right. Uh, did you ship any damage to? Uh, you don't have any damage to ship. No, Jessica can't heal this turn. You're too good at things. Uh, 
All right. Uh, we did it too good. Uh, okay. All right. You're 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 up. Oh, no. I, sorry. Right. Engage last action. You're up. All right. Uh, I take direct aim at this spook with my gun. You know, this guy's hat reminds me of... You ever see the uh, 1994 Alec Baldwin film, The Shadow? Um, no. Great movie. Same year as The Rocketeer. Both those movies better than every oh. every MCU movie, without exception. <laughs> you see Black Panther yet? Is that any good? Uh, yeah, it was pretty solid. It was definitely one of the best things from this Marvel phase. But it's, it... That's it, a very low it, bar, right? It didn't like, it didn't it didn't have too many of the normal Marvel problems. They were still there, but like it like mostly focused on the characters and like did some good stuff. So Yeah, that sounds good. But, Probably still not as good as the shadow, but uh I, we'll yeah. see. Uh all right, so I uh, use the bullet. Uh I'm shooting this guy. I have a six versus a three. Uh use practice makes perfect just for the fun of it. Uh it did. Type in the nine there. Yeah. Nine. Annoying. I never want to search for any other number. It's always nine. <laughs> well, you just it stays typed in. You just hadn't used it yet this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> nice. uh, I commit this overpower. All right. I succeed and I don't hit Ben. Hooray. Um, all right, so the spook dies. Uh, and then I still have two actions left, Joel. Yeah. And you're going to commit a deduction. Yes. Okay, so I have three versus uh, whatever. I'm going to commit Inspiring Presence to get to four. Uh, and then I'm going to use Sophie and draw a card uh, to get to six. And that should be fine, right? Because it's, yeah. Yep. All right, so we're up by four. And... Tablet, that's fine. Cool. Oh, you know, you know what we didn't do? We didn't draw when we left this location to see if we failed to move. So I guess I'll do that quick. Okay. Uh, I guess I don't. I will not play death, and I will try it again. Okay, great. Okay. You need to draw one token to resolve the timeline. All right, great. We're good. See, I didn't almost fuck the timeline. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, oh, and I also I do use safeguard. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so we got okay. all the clues, and now uh, we should just immediately end it. Yep, that is what we will do. Okay. So let's advance the, I'm just assuming it ends. I'll be kind of annoyed if it <laughs> does it. All right, finally, the fog of deception surrounding the expedition is beginning to lift. With evidence you've gathered, you make your departure from the manor, sparring one final moment of silence for the murdered financier. Um, do, do, do. We found all six pieces of evidence uh okay position three. Oh, were there multiple arsonists yeah i guess that those would have been rough if we drew them a lot earlier um oh yeah there definitely are multiple of those oh no i didn't check this account deck there is is there a victory that we missed yeah we're good all right resolution resolution three uh do, all right You left no avenue unchecked in determining the truth of Wycliffe's plan. Though through your diligence and determination, you now know the full series of events that led to up to the architect's murder. Wycliffe's funding of the expedition was done at least in part for the benefit of his former associates. This continued until the most recent one, during which he discovered some secrets and resolved to keep the artifacts out of their hands. He hired the Obanians to hijack the shipment, and then sub sub subsequently hired you both to make himself appear innocent and to discourage his former colleagues from attempting to find the stone themselves. You don't know what he intended to do with the stone after that, but he may have been banking on the Obanians' violent reputation to keep it safe. Despite Wycliffe's efforts, he wasn't able to outwit your enemies for very long. It concerns you how quickly this organization was able to act, and how many agents they fielded against you. They seem to be everywhere, always plotting and moving. Your thoughts flash back to the cult reports in the drafting room, and you recall a similar way the servants of Cthulhu operated, always in the shadows and always ready to strike. The gruesome fish-like creatures you battled at, at the riverfront lend credence to this theory. Cult or not, the question you must now ask is where these men have taken the Mycenaean stone and uh, just what they intend to do with it. From what you can surmise based on Wycliffe's experiments with the stone in his study and his own architecture, the spatial warping property is central to their plan. He likely taught them to reproduce this effect before his discovery of their secrets. You can also guess, based on Wycliffe's geographical research, that their plot will accumulate somewhere far from Arkham, but he had it figured that point out before his death. The only need now is to trace where Wycliffe met with his former com uh, comrades and interrogate them yourself. All right, 
So we know the full story. Okay, uh, three notice. Assume we're still at maximum notice. Um, and continue to resolution four. With dawn breaking of Arkham and the exha uh, exhaustion dragging at your body, you finally return to your home for some well-deserved sleep. It has been an arduous night in all regards, but you can recuperate in the relative safety of day. Rest may not come easy, but it is vital for you to be in peak condition to fight the conspiracy that still looms around you. Uh, we get victory X, uh, and probably a bunch of notice. <laughs> uh, I assume we got uh, one six victory. Uh, looks like five from locations. Right. Uh, one, yep, five two, from locations. Plus two, in the plus two. Okay. Plus we got one from knowing the full oh, story. So we got I was eight. Shooting for, I was shooting for seven three times in a row. That would have been lucky. Uh, yeah. No. I, I, it's because we 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 if we had ended the game a little bit earlier, I know we got all experience then. Yeah. Hard, hard to do. Um, I mean the. Have, didn't we miss one experience in the last two? So like the max in each one has been eight so far. So yeah, that uh, right. we also have eleven notice. I'm sure that doesn't matter. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, that, that's probably fine, right? It's, kind of, <laughs> it's like vengeance of forgotten age. What's the worst that can happen? If yeah. You have it? <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, yeah, that is it for this scenario. Uh, what do yeah. you think? Uh, it was fun. It was this one was a lot faster. I feel like this was only like an hour and a half total, right? Yeah, this one was pretty quick uh we didn't it's i think it's because we didn't have to backtrack a lot there seems yeah. like there are some stuff that kind of make you do that like the the, the burninator guys so the beard mentioned that we got a little lucky not having arsonists out for the first chunk of the game um which i think is true because they were probably the most annoying enemy but, yeah um, i i think it only it would have slowed us down a little bit i don't know i i think this is also just a very good team kind of mm -hmm. Well, like, yeah, um, this is a good team. I was kind of slow at the start because I didn't get my stuff going, but you're your oh, mark. Yeah, we, uh, that's the so. thing. We, we both had really bad mulls and, mm -hmm. and pretty bad card sequencing, but we kind of just wrecked shit anyway. Agency backup is fucking nasty as hell. Like, yeah, well, I mean, it's five I, experience, cost seven. It's, it's got to <laughs> do some work, right? <laughs> but, like, you get it. it. It's one of these cards that's like, if you if it literally was impossible to heal it, it would still be pretty good. Yeah. And you can just heal it, and you can just, like, it's... <laughs> you know it's it's pretty cool i wonder would it be worth i know it's fine I, I almost said is it worth getting uh peter but i'm gonna get a uh, the detective guy at some point uh i mean i do Grish, i do so i do like this game i got back about pretty late but in general i think that you're using it for clues at least as often as as damage so like that is a lot of horror coming in i mean we can mostly use soothing melodies for that but it is definitely well, like uh, I have plans to get a uh, to Garish, the 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 uh, Punjab yeah. detective, and he can basically heal horror off himself. Well, you, you so also, you've, I mean, you've got two logical reasonings that we yeah. never had to play. I yeah. have two melodies that mostly just used on damage. Like we we have a lot of leeway here. Yeah, yeah. we're we're in pretty pretty good shape on that front. Uh, pretty solid. Yeah, I, I thought the scenario was cool too. I uh, like I like that we're kind of like slowly uncovering the mystery here of like uh, who this guy is, and it seems like like his weird con con uh, convulted plan to like get the stones back and like have us fight the Obanians plus the, the fish people, whatever I, it all backfired. I like that. So I really, I really liked the encounter deck. I liked a lot of the treacheries. I liked the, the enemies were very creepy and sinister. They were just like weird humans that you're not really sure if they actually are human or some kind of extra dimensional thing. It's kind of like, um, I think if, if Dane was here and doing his, his typical adventure brothers reference, he would probably say that they remind him of the, um, who are the dudes in Venture Brothers? The uh, the syndicate or whatever. The, the dude that Henry Killinger was part of. Oh, the investors. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, they also reminded me uh, the TikTok men are in earlier Arkham games, I think. Right, like the TikTok men are in. Yeah, they're they, like a rumor in Eldritch Horror or something. I think. Yeah, I think so. The... But, no, that's that that's absolutely my shit. Anytime you have like dudes in suits that might be the member of some government agency that is secret, or they might be like from another plane, like that's just fucking cool. I yeah, that, I like the like the it keeps mentioning the cult of Cthulhu, but the these this, these conspirator agency guys, I think they're like a different faction or something. Like they're like a government faction yeah, trying to get the rocks yeah, or whatever. Exactly. Like it's 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 sort of like um like for like a for, uh 
what, what is it circle undone or something where there's like multiple factions that are kind of in the mix right? yeah i assume it doesn't seem like we've had the option to team up with any of them so far but it does seem like there's a there's a bunch of people sure fighting. Hope it doesn't come to that because i don't really like any i mean i like them they're cool but i don't really i don't think any of them have uh i don't think any of their visions or goals align with ours yeah. so this uh I mean, this... Our, our goal our goal is basically to draw a lot of cards and heal each other all the time so <laughs> basically know. uh i like the cleaner enemy um yeah it's, it's cool. like a, it's like a hidden enemy so its deal is like you as an action you can spawn him but you have to be at a low shred location so the only we only drew him once i think we did get very lucky with like enemy draws in this one like we didn't get the extremely annoying ones too often so yeah but but it's like oh he's popped out to like to attack you but you can he can attack you from your hand or you can spawn him or whatever um uh, and we also didn't get the counterintelligence this, this time or the or the archaic evils i think we got very very good draws we got, from we got our one team archaic evils. we got the, one the thing, but we shuffled I, them back in so we could have gotten three more I, the thing is like i also i gotta be honest archaic evil is like it feels a little weak maybe do i mean do, do you agree with this because like i kind of um, feel like well, you just always you just always remove cards from your deck. It's like, uh, what's, what's the worst that happens? I think yeah, I mean that is what happens. It, may, it could make you draw your weaknesses, but we're drawing so fast anyway. I don't I don't think we care. Uh, it it could be really it could be very annoying if it like like what if you drew it and it hit your agency back up? You'd probably just be sad, I guess. You know? I would be sad and I would just let it happen. Um, well, <laughs> or or I would or I would say yeah, I don't care about the doom. Let's just take a doom. But but yeah. well, part of it is like even ancient evils wouldn't be that scary in a scenario where you have a lot of extra time which we have mostly we, maybe just because we're really efficient i well again it's because uh, we didn't draw the arsonist like imagine if the arsonist had come oh, out early and you had to run across the map a couple times you know it's it's true it's true yeah i mean we don't want to like draw too many conclusions from just playing it once but but all i'm saying is like um i feel like if you look at the weird ancient evils the upgrade ancient evils that are in like the return twos mm -hmm. most of them the the alternative peril choice is like very very bad like you really hate to do it but you do and i i feel like in this it's like removing three cards from your deck is usually pretty okay you know yeah it also depends when it hits if it hits early on you have a higher chance of losing losing like a, a card you care about more right so yeah it's true it's true um it's also like i don't know i i feel like we we play card games a lot so we kind of like we we don't want to build our deck around like one card that we mm -hmm. absolutely have to draw in order to make the deck good but maybe people that are a little bit newer to card games might like they're playing like one copy of the exceptional items or something and they like really want to find Ooh. their um double double or whatever or something yeah you know? it, it definitely make it definitely makes rogue sadder or or anyone what, what were those uh permanents that came out in like edge of the earth like isn't there a rogue one that makes you all your deck all one ups or whatever oh yeah the highlander one uh <laughs> so. i forget what it's called the other one but, but that's i mean to be clear like even that is still a fine encounter card yeah i think a lot of the other ones have been very cool i like the all pretty much all of the hidden ones that go into your hand have all been like really neat like fun to play around and kind of spooky i like those a lot yeah the, it's an interesting decision of like uh do i take the damage and just keep taking it or do i fail to test and uh yeah uh oh tyler or the beard says that the archaic evils is going to combo with later encounter sets maybe that'll make it scarier Ooh. oh no is there like the dunwich card where like you die if your deck runs out or whatever well i was thinking it could be that like, could be very bad for our team <laughs> so, um, there's some there's some really weird magic cards that kind of synergize that, that kind of like track cards that get exiled which is what magic calls it when you remove a card from the game so there's cards that are like, for every card you own that's in exile, something happens. So mm -hmm. you could imagine there could be encounter cards that are like, for every card that you that from your deck that had got removed from the game, you take a core or something like that could be very scary. Yeah, or probably not. But like there could be. It's fun to speculate about things, you know. Yeah, but uh, no, I agree. I think the the deck so far has been has been pretty fair and and interesting. Um. I do think I feel Mark. I always forget how incredibly good Mark is, and I think Vincent is fine. And it's just that he's making Mark even more incredibly good by being, having such really, healing. <laughs> I think Vincent is very good just generally, but he's also the best possible partner for Mark. Yeah, yeah, obviously. So and Mark you know, is it's like so, a it, Mark is just so insane. Like it's <laughs> it's really stupid. Um, it doesn't uh. Isn't there another investigator that uses damage somehow? Peril Agnes. That could. I don't, I don't remember if she's actually I, good. But I yeah. feel like I feel like I got like, you know, sixty or seventy percent as many clues as you. I think. You, yeah, you definitely got a lot of clues. Uh, yeah. I I never got practicing perfect to work, so I never got like double deductions. I, I that was without that was without landing scene of the crime at all, mm -hmm. and that was with getting agency back up out late. Yeah. So, yeah, Mark's just incredible. Uh, 
you know, it, it does make me feel like I mean, we should have just gone on hard in this, even though we're doing it blind. But just Mark, he's so he, good. He's he's the king. <laughs> yeah, so. he's, he's he's the king of Arkham Horror. Uh, yeah, fun times. Uh, up next, we got Crumbling Masonry. Uh, before we dramatically go into the super very aggressive spooky zone, so I'm, I'm excited for that. Uh, sw- switch to happen. It does. Looks like there's an interlude that's probably gonna spice it up there. I'm uh, really excited for all of these. Really excited to see where this goes next. Yeah. Uh, so uh, anyone that joined us, thanks. If you made it to this video, end of the video on YouTube, uh, like, subscribe, uh, comment on any rules mistakes I made. Uh, let me know if I need to asterisk in the campaign before we play next. And uh, you can follow all of our socials on social dot or find all of our socials at social dot mur dot fm. Uh, and there you can get uh, notifications from uh, when we're playing next and catch the podcast uh, whenever we get a podcast episode out. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.